What the heck is going on? I I I, I hear music. Production stuff. And welcome back to another episode of the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Show. My name is Hobo Tom. It's a Friday night, therefore it is a pizza and red wine Friday. Ah, oh, that's the last of that. And thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, a very quick recap. Um, today, or tomorrow, ergo a few hours, is going to be New Japan, New Year's Dash. I'm just going to do a recap for that. I'm still exhausted from watching New, uh, Wrestle Kingdom 13 last night. I was up till 6 in the morning. Actually, almost 7? I think so. Seven, yeah, about six forty-five. I went to bed. I think six fifty-ish, more so. Got about a five-hour nap. And I got I had stuff to do because on Monday Night Raw, you can see this guy. At there we go. Monday Night Raw here in Orlando. And ladies, if you ever like to go to a wrestling event, send this guy an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com and you ladies could be the new girlfriend. Or you lady could be the new girlfriend. With that being said, time to get some shout outs going on because I did a my first live my first live stream 2019 since I am off my ban. So I have a lot of stuff to be thankful for. Kayla Ferris, this OMFG moment goes out to you. And she's a new subscriber. And if you're not married, Kayla, and in the greater Detroit area, and in the greater Daytona Beach area, Hit me up on the email. And you could actually see some wrestling matches live with this guy. And get a wrestling t-shirt because that's how I treat my women. If you go to a wrestling event, you should always wear a wrestling shirt. Right now I have my hobo shirt on. That's pretty cool. Also, another shout out. Acer5000. This... Shibata goes out to you. And thank you very much for subscribing. I do appreciate that so much. You'd actually be surprised how much I do appreciate that. And let's see, I have to find my list. People to send shout outs for. Let's see here. Blazing83. Thank you very much for all your comments. You made that long show go by very quickly. This little video clip. Ooh, this six count. What are Yeah, this six count goes out to you.
And I know I'm going to butcher this. So I do apologize in, in, in advance. Abhilash Mudgal. I apologize already. This clip goes out to you. Again, thank you for your comments. Again, made that show go by a little bit quick, quick, quicker. And because everyone I give gets a comment, even if it's a negative comment. What's that? Oh, there we go. So many pages of notes. Jay Rasila, just because you left a comment, and very simply, you just said you suck. I don't know if that's a Kurt Angle, you suck. But this gift goes out to you. Again, if you are going to give Pry a thumbs down and you suck, please say why. I can improve the show. Again, do not say, oh, I want to I want to see. WrestleMania or Wrestle Kingdom 13, you just talk. I cannot do that because that will give me another YouTube suspension. I've had two already. Three, they start saying Hobo Tom. It's a little bit more than a thing. It's a slap on the wrist. And then after he slaps on the wrist, they say, You're out of here! Again, I cannot do certain things. And again, I'm a hobo. I have to do things on the cheap. Which means listening to other people's stuff. Because that's what hobos do. They are very good at that. Well, let's talk very quickly about Wrestle Kingdom. Um, I've already had, I already gave kind of my live stream. And go back into my archive and watch WrestleMania or Wrestle Kingdom. 13, and you can check out all the ratings I gave the match. Overall, it was a fun show. My one takeaway from that is that you almost knew what the results of some matches were going to be. Again, taking a look at my my own card and I and my own predictions. Then you see a bunch of circles, X's, and checks. I myself was a 50-50 booker. That means I got half my wrestling matches right. Half of them, unfortunately, I got wrong. So again, um, no New Year's Dash happens tonight. I'm exhausted. I got a five-hour nap. Got my... Oh, there it is, the Amway Center. Not a very nice envelope to give you. There it is, the important stuff. Russell, the WWE Raw ticket. Woke up, visitor friend, gave her a piece of crab ragwing pizza. Again, you can see how I made crab ragwing pizza in a previous video. Had to go to Walmart. I have to send out a shout out. Well, this guy is on TV at Raw. I think I'm going to be somewhat behind the announce table. And I'll have my Mosh shirt on, not my Hobo shirt. Again, anyone in the Frendo universe, if you are going there, send a message. Maybe I'll, I'll see you. Say, hey, you watch Steven Larson too? Good stuff. They kind of inspired me to do this. That and my lack of pecuniary funds. Or actually with my pecuniary issues. 
but not problems yet, just some issues. So with that being said, I was a 50-50 booker. The, the show was really good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, it's only one person's take. This is pro wrestling. This is the theater of the absurd. You can always agree and disagree. With the exception of... There's always that, that one person who wants to be a jackape at any wrestling show, and there's always one person who says, Oh, why are you so show the show? I don't want to hear you talk. Eh. You get the gift that I sent out earlier. Although, again, thank you for your comment, though. Again, be a little bit more constructive next time. So, New Year's Dash, I'm going to kind of skip in talking with some people more knowledgeable about w, about New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, with New Year's Dash, it's like all eight-man tags, tag teams. I know the one event, it's going to be for the never open weight six man tag. Uh, Taguchi, Makabe, and Yano are going to face whoever the champions are. Probably Bushi and Takagi are going to face Kanemaru and Desperado. Only because they pinned the one guy from Kangi 3K. Or they're going to face whoever wh whoever they didn't pin. They just solidify their championship. Um, Suzuki's going to get involved. He just likes to beat up people. I want to say the golden elite of... I don't know. Maybe Kodobushi? I still don't know what happened to him. Again, someone's going to tag with Kenny Omega, and that's going to be their proper, at least for Kenny Omega, out. And my prediction, you can book this right now. Kenny Omega goes on to the WWE. I have to tell my good friend Rebecca this at the gym, because I think she'll, she'll go absolutely bonkers and lose most of her function of her bodily fluids. Kenny Omega is going to be at the WWE Royal Rumble. He's going to win the Royal Rumble, challenge and defeat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, and then for Survivor Series, go on to challenge AJ Styles, who's going to win back the belt either from Daniel Bryan which I don't think, I think that's going to be kind of a death to finish. Baby, how don't change hands and death to finish it. Or later on in the year before the before Survivor Series, just so he can face Kenny Omega, the guy that booted him out of Bullet Club on the way to the WWE. So that's that for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And now part two. This has been a... This is a whoa! There goes my microphone. I wonder if you need a new microphone. I have to get monetized. And get like a little small mic. Those look cool. Let's talk about... <laughs> so I can't even say it with a straight face. Let's talk about some <laughs> Impact Wrestling. The Impact Homecoming pay-per-view is coming on Sunday the 6th. So I'll have a whole day to rest up. I do have to work. I think I'm going to show you guys how to make a steak and egg breakfast sandwich. The way the hobo makes it. Maybe. Steak and eggs. Steak. Egg. Cheese. Bread. French toast sticks. Whatever it is, you'll get to see me eat it. But we have the Impact Homecoming pay-per-view on this Sunday. And this time I'm going to remember to include my Stone Cold Lock, my Match of the Night, and there's always a... And this card, remember, is always subject to change. So there's only six matches. 
So this show will probably be about in total if it starts at eight should be over about two maybe two and a half hours. Some of these matches are, are pretty basic. Some of these are a little bit more complex. What's gonna be the snooze match? Shoot. Well let's go through this. So probably what's gonna open up, you're gonna have Eddie Edwards versus Moose. That should be actually a fairly fun match. Moose is getting good. I do like his personality. Eddie Edwards, I think he's the one who's going crazy now. It's been a while since I've watched Impact. And Impact is switching channels. And I have to figure out, let me write this down. Bigger. Darn it, only pens are running on a ring. There we go. Figure. Out pursuit on YouTube. Well, I'll figure that out. Maybe we'll get some more impact reviews. So Eddie Edwards versus Moose. Moose is going to continue his rampage. I mean, he is Moose. 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 So I say Moose is going to go over. I'll probably pretty, be a pretty fun match. On the next match, in a monstrous ball match, ball, which means it's like a no DQ weapons. It's a little bit less graphic version of a death match. More like a street fight with weapons. That's it. A street fight with weapons. Eli Drake versus the Monster Abyss. It's named after him. I'm going to go with Abyss. Then for the Tag Team Champions, you have LAX versus the Lucha Bros of Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. Ooh, this is tough. Because my head says LAX. My heart says Phoenix and Pentagon. I'm going to go with my heart. Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. go over and become new Impact Champions. And I am going to say this is the match of the night. And the next, we might have one of the Chris Brothers from OVE versus Page, and I forget who that is. It's not it's not Hangman Page. Versus Rich Swan versus Trey. <sighs> I don't know any of these guys. And this is for the X Division X Division Championship. I'm gonna say Rich Swan. Mainly because I'm eliminating Chris, because again he's with his brother for OVE and still in the tag team picture. Page, I have no, he's not Hangman Page. I have no idea who he is. Trey, maybe. I'm gonna say Rich Swan. Shoot, it's only six matches. I'll see about my user. And Stone Cold Lock. I hate to do this because I've done this before. But the next match is the Women's Championship. Tessa Blanchard versus Taya. 
But women always seem to underwhelm. Shoot. I don't know what to do. I'm going to say Ty goes over. This is a rematch to some degree. Because with this, you have, um, oh, what's your face? A special guest referee. <sighs> I have no idea. This might be the snooze. Or is it that one? Because you know what's happening. No, that's special. Eddie Edwards versus Moose. You know what? No. My first match that I said, Eddie Edwards, and I'll add this in later, is going to be my snooze match. I didn't say it there because it was the first match. Generally, you want to have a good first match. Ty, I think, is going to go over. What is my stone cold lock? I almost want to say abyss. You know what? My stone cold lock's going to be. You know what? I'll give it to Taya. She lost to Tessa Blanche last time. Stone cold lock. And then the main event. Only because this could go either way. Johnny Impact versus Brian Cage. Cage is cashing in his X Division belt for a shot at the champion. It's Johnny Impact, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Morrison. I mean, Starship freaking pain. Or End of the World, Lucha Underground. He does the standing Spanish fly from the top rope. The starship pain. Oh, wow. See, I'm so torn on this because either one is a great champion. I'm going to say Johnny Impact retains, though. Yep, that sounds good. And I. So my notes are done. And again, it's always subject to change. I have no idea if there's going to be more matches. There you go, folks. My little match card and scribbles and up top. Eventually, one day, if I ever get monetized, I'm going to sign this, too, to make it official. Ho, bo, Tom. But it's not official. Hobo Tom and my matches. And that's what I think is going to happen because that's going to be my second live stream. That's going to happen Sunday, probably about 7 o'clock. I'll post it tomorrow because I'll probably put this video up soon. I have to do, again, a little editing, figure out some stuff. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, all those who I gave shout-outs to, except for one. Because he was a <clears throat> Kayla Ferris again. Acer 5000. Where's the rest of it? There we go. Blazing 83. And again, I apologize. Avilash Mudgal. Thank you guys very much. You all received a special shout out. Again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you comment and 